Hey guys, welcome back to Be Funny with Jesse, the life coach. So for those who are new here, my name is Jesse. I am a life coach and I do videos on a little bit of everything about basically finding balance and not losing your mind. And today is gonna to be one of those fun videos that we are going to do. So it is the weekend, of course, and I'm actually at home trying to get some work done. I have my laptop right in front of me. I have my dishwasher going on. I'm doing some laundry. Just I'm just chillaxing, right? And I get the funniest phone call from one of my girlfriends and she's at home losing her damn mind. She has three kids um, under 14 and she's had it with them. So I, I, you know, I get the phone call, I'm like, hello, right? And I'm all like woosa and happy and vibing. I got music going on. I'm just, you know, just doing me. And she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, whoa, are you okay? And she's like, no, these kids are making me insane. I'm about to kill them. I want to know, are you, you are you home? Are you home? <laughs> it's like, SOS, come, you know, I need, I need some saving. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm home. She's like, are you doing anything? Are you busy? Can I go up there? I just need to get away from these kids. Like, are you okay? Can I stay? And I'm like, oh, uh, sure, okay. But if it's, it's cool with your husband, it's cool with me. You can get, you know, uh, I'm fine with it. And then I'm like, wait, but hold on, my other line. And then I'm like, Dum. I click over and I'm like, hi, right? And my other friend, I'm about to kill these babies. So now she has two kids that are toddlers that are back to back. And I'm like, oh, okay, are, are, is everything, what's the matter, you know? Cause she goes on her rant of how she's gonna kill her babies, her kids. And I'm like, don't kill the babies. Come on, we can't kill the babies. I'm like, listen guys, I got you. So today I'm actually gonna show you how I am going to put this away, put down my workload and come save my friends. I'm gonna be their savior today and I'm gonna be planning a last minute little get together um, that's just gonna be all full of love and just a little bit of ah. And I just did a video on self-care and self-love and talking about getting to that breaking point and how you need your breaks and don't wait till you get to that point that you're ready to like have a breakdown and a meltdown to do it and this is, this is, it's just so funny that it's co coincidental that it just happened back to back, that they're at their breaking point. And they actually saw that video and they were like, that's why we're calling you. Cause we know, we know, we know that, you know, you know how to bring in the fun and the relaxation. So today I'm going to be showing you step by step and how I am going to put together a last minute little get together fun night for my girls so they don't lose their mind. I did it. It's going to be effortless and it's going to be fun. So let's get into it. So since my girls are needing some extra love and tender care, I thought why not try to bring in some love with this cookie cutter set. I purchased this a while back and I still haven't used it so I thought hey, today's the perfect day. I thought I could get creative with some grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I have my honey wheat bread here and I'm going to use the cookie cutter to form the heart and the other patterns um they're pretty large i think they're larger than the bread but um i'm gonna i'm gonna wing it i'm gonna try to see what i can do and how to make it work since both friends are staying over they staying for the night i thought why not get nostalgic and bring back like an old favorite plus they're coming around 6 37 p.m you know after they get their kids settled and um it's gonna be nighttime so they already had dinner so i thought why not just kind of bring something in that's nice and wholesome filling and it's more of a snack so it goes perfect with the theme that i'm going for here goes my heart shape it didn't come out too bad it is a little bit difficult to work with obviously the cutter set is not meant for bread <laughs> so um you know i'm just being creative and just wanted to give them some hearts because i feel like they need it they're so stressed out um so i'm just gonna cut it up it, it works best with a knife if you can't really get the shape and I'm just gonna um, butter a pan and I am going to grill it like I would do like a grilled cheese I'm just gonna grill it on both sides and just just helps melt everything all together and makes it nice and warm so what's a winter night without some s'mores yes s'mores I love s'mores and I thought why not it's gonna go perfect with a movie theme and I'm just gonna get everything all together I'm getting my Hershey's I'm getting my marshmallows I'm getting my um, crackers and this set actually comes with its own metal skewers so it's perfect for the night it is electric so it can get pretty hot so we have to be careful but look at that chocolate now come on I'm so ready for it 
So we're going into my bar. I'm gonna pick up three glasses and we're gonna be drinking some rum chata. I love rum chata. It's just so warm and it's just perfect for a winter night. And I love these glasses because they look cracked and they are angled. So it just makes for a fun night when people start drinking. So just to jazz it up, I'm actually adding a marshmallow to the top of the drink. It's gonna go nice. It will fit with the theme of the s'mores and the peanut butter and jelly. And when it falls into the rum chata, it tastes so, so good. And for added flair and ambiance, you can actually roast the marshmallow. So that's what I'm doing here. I would just suggest if you do this, be very careful. It's just entertainment purposes and I'm doing it on my own discretion. So I have some popcorn here that we're going to have for the night. And it's just a mix of cheese, caramel, and salted popcorn. And it's going to be so yummy. So I have this little gather tray that I have here on a rotator. So it's just going to make it easier when people need to grab a sandwich. So we are going to talk about my couch. I love my couch. It's custom made. I'm so blessed to have it. But it's not the most comfortable couch. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a fort in my living room. So I'm going to move my center table. My center table turned into one table and um, I'm just dragging it out because it's pretty heavy. I'm just going to vacuum the area and I'm going to set a fire because we want it nice and cozy. And then I'm going to start laying down my fort. So just going to make it more comfortable for us. There's three of us so we can all lay it out together. I'm going to put some pillows. I'm going to make it nice and comfy and it's just going to make it nice and cozy. As you can see, my shorty's all about it. <laughs> he is getting himself nice and comfortable. That is my baby. So here I have my ottomans. So my ottomans are leather on one side and then when you flip it over, it's hardwood and it actually turns into a serving tray or a table. You could use it as a tabletop. So I'm gonna be using these for my serving trays. I also took out this nice and cozy blanket i love this blanket it is so soft it's just cable knit and it's just like the softest material and it's keen size so it's perfect um so i'm just gonna set it out there on the fort this is how everything is looking and i'm gonna start filling up the trays as you can see shorty made himself comfortable and i don't think he's leaving but the girls love him he loves the girls so it's fine we all fit here nice and comfy so my baby is always welcome so I started filling up the trays. I even put on in the back on the chair, I have like a selfie little station that tipped over. So I'm gonna show you how everything is starting to look. I get everything nice and laid out, popcorn, drinks. And on one serving table, I have the whole s'more station. I plugged it in, but I need to turn it on. So I'm gonna do that now. So it can start heating up. So when the girls come, the marshmallows are ready to be roasted in here. And we could have used the fireplace to be honest, but who wants to get up every five to 10 minutes to go all the way to the fireplace? It's just more convenient to have a little small, small station right at your feet, right? Cause that's where they pretty much are. So I actually have two bottles of rum chata and that's for our backup because we are going to drink. They actually needed a drink. So I have um, the popcorn laid out in this tray, which is nice and convenient because it has handles at each of the, the sides. So that's just a nice little touch. I have my baby is cold outside pillows. I have a candle going out in the background and baby it is cold outside. It dropped to 16 degrees and it is actually snowing uh, today in New York again. Um, but no complaints here. I, I'm blessed to be inside. I'm blessed to be able to have a roof over my head and I'm blessed to be able to um, offer a nice warm gathering for, for some of my friends and we're doing it um, as safe as possible because you know COVID is still a threat. Everybody has been um, home completely um, quarantined. Uh, one of my friends already has the uh, vaccination so so i would definitely say if you want to do this um in your own place you know just use discretion the same as i would suggest with uh roasting the marshmallows on your stove top um we're all adults here so just use your best judgment so since they are about an hour out i still have a lot of time i'm actually taking the opportunity to choose some movies i'm choosing comedies and some girly movies and just dropping it into my watch list and as I wait, I am going to start preparing a s'more for myself because it is way too tempting to have this all set up and not actually indulge. So I'm gonna just prepare a s'more for me and I'm gonna start um, watching a comedy while I wait. Oh, and it's so yummy. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Get back in time. Well, not you, but like God. 
So guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my ideas of how I brought in a last minute effortless girls night in, definitely give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you haven't done so for more videos of the such. And I will see you in my next one. But before I go, just a quick note, just always remember to have some me time. It's okay, especially if you're a mommy, if you're a single mom, just to have some breaks, have some time away from your kids. Um, it's self-love and we all need a break. So uh, if you haven't had a slumber party in a while, you're never too old to have one. Uh, it's just, it's so much fun just to get together with your girlfriends and just relax, regenerate and just, ah, woosa, right? So guys, be well, love ya and see you in my next one. Bye.